Great news causes stock market surge, but metals to crash. Is it time to buy? Hey, I'm the Sacking Stormtrooper. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy in a bucket talking about precious metals, in case any of you are wondering. So today is a huge day in the financial world. We're seeing some major movement in both the stock market as well as precious metals because great news causes the stock market surge, but metals to crash. And I'm going to walk you through the reasons as to why this is happening. So in this big press release, which came out uh, in the morning of November 9th, says Pfizer and BioNTech announced vaccine candidate against COVID-19 achieved success in first interim analysis from phase three study. According to the press releases right now, it's saying that um, the vaccine candidate is proving to be about 90% effective. Now it's not you know, 100% effective, but we are seeing that this is um, very promising news. That being said, what is uh, happening right now in the markets is uh, quite amazing. Right here, we see that the Dow Jones is up um, 1,324 points. Right here, uh, Wall Street Journal says Dow surges to intraday record on vaccine results and also talking about a Biden win. It is also the reason that we are seeing the precious metals markets plummeting right now. We see gold dropping 4.74% right now, currently sitting at $1,858 an ounce. We're also seeing a significant drop in silver. It's dropped about $1.86 down to $23.79. Um, this is all very good news for those in the stacking community who are looking to buy more precious metals. I know for myself, um, you know, I was really hoping for an event like this to occur so that way uh, we could capitalize on these buying opportunities. The only problem, though, is that we have to see if these uh, prices are going to actually carry over into the premiums of the bullion dealers. Most likely, that's not going to happen. We've seen this happen back in March where we saw these very steep drops in price uh, for silver and gold. And therefore, because of that really, really fast drop, we saw that the precious metals uh, kept their um, premiums basically intact. Those bullion dealers kept those premiums intact. So they weren't going to lose any of those possible premiums that they were going to make. So, uh, and I've said this before, we need to see a gradual decrease and a sustained decrease and leveling out of prices in order for it to be a really good buying opportunity. Now, there's going to be some people within the stacking community who are going to say, I backed the truck up, I was able to buy the dip, and uh, I got a really, really amazing deal. Some people are going to be able to get those deals, um, but those deals are very rare. So uh, if you were to go to your local coin shop or to uh, any of the online bullion dealers, my bet would be that they are going to maintain the prices. Maybe they'll drop them down a little bit and they will uh, you know, decrease a little of their profit margin, but they're not going to um, go completely in line with this precious metals drop. And again, too, remember, this is the paper market. This really isn't reflective of the physical demand. So a lot of people uh, tend to get this kind of um, mixed up. You know, we don't actually have physical silver and gold prices, right? We are basically going off of these um, spot prices, which are based on contracts and um, the paper markets, right? The ETFs and the different mining stocks. So this is not really going to give you an accurate I guess, uh, representation of what you're going to be able to buy the silver and gold precious metals, like the physical stuff for. So keep that in mind. But remember, whenever we see a very strong stock market, that is always going to indicate a uh, good opportunity for buying precious metals. And when we see the stock market drop, um, and you see some economic uncertainty, then you will see precious metals by and large rise in price. So I'm curious as to what your thoughts are on all this. Are you buying? Are you uh, waiting a little bit longer to see what's going to happen? I know a lot of people are going to try to buy, but they're going to find that these metal prices, the physical metal prices are not going to 
uh, fall in line with everything. Let's see here. Spot prices are falling. Lock in your price act now. Let's just kind of see what Atmex has going on right now. Um, whatever we got here, as low as $28.39, $30.39. Not terrible. $26.89 for an ounce there. Um, but again, we're not really seeing a, a major, major drop in pricing. So um, you're going to have to really hope that these prices uh, continue to drop and that it stays down. And you're talking for maybe like a month, uh, three weeks to four weeks is what is needed to make all these prices drop significantly. If you do get any of these newsletters or email notifications in your box from either of the big bullion dealers offering you some sort of deals, um, definitely look at those closely and see if they are worth jumping on. Um, again, like I said, you're, you're going to need a sustained drop and these prices to stay down in order for anybody to really buy this dip successfully. And I just want to quickly thank these elite channel supporters. And if you haven't become a channel member, please check out the awesome perks and join today. With that on the Stacking Stormtrooper, check out these videos. Until next time, long live the Empire.